Last couple of weeks we had some raccoons uh, get into our trash can and they put you know, garbage all over the, the driveway, which was a rather unpleasant mess to clean up. Um, we actually had a kind of a, we made a raccoon proof garbage can, but it didn't totally work right. The, ra the raccoons actually managed to get in. And so we went out to Home Depot and got this uh, extra heavy duty uh, trash can. And I've already done part of the modification, but the way it works basically is that we take one of these straps that you can get uh, on Amazon, and it's, well, it's a standard belt buckle or buckle kind of thing. And then it goes around the can like this to hold the lid down. The last time we did it, we had a more flimsy lid, and we had the buckle go down the middle, and the lid was soft enough that the raccoons could actually kind of lift up this and get their paws in there and pull out some garbage without even opening the buckle. So this time, as I said, we got the extra heavy duty can and we're moving the buckle a little bit forward. So I've made this one side already, but I wanted to show you guys how to actually do it. So basically, put the uh, can down on the side. And I just took like a permanent marker and ran it along the edge like this to make this little rectangle. So after that, uh, we basically took this little artist knife and on the other side, I managed to do it without heating up the knife, um, but it was pretty hard. And also be really careful because you don't want to be cutting towards yourself or slip or anything. And, and on the other side, the blade broke. So I'm gonna try it with this, try heating it up a little bit. So that might get it through the plastic a little faster. We'll see how that works. Yeah, it's a lot easier this way. Okay, so we gotta heat it up a bunch of times. All right, so we finished cutting this and just poked it through there. So now, basically, just lift up the hand and the lid. And then, so basically, this is the second half of the buckle. You just feed the strap through this slot. And then this part's a little tricky. By the way, these things, I made this, but you can buy these on Amazon or anywhere. They're called Tri Glides. That's T-R-I-G-L-I-D-E. And they're used for like backpacks and stuff. But the trick is feeding it through. Feed it through one, one of the slots. And then you feed it through. You don't feed it through this way because then it's going to slip out. That's, that's not what you do. What you do is you go over the edge and through here. And you pull this all the way in so you can have working room. Pull that through so you got kind of a loop like that. And then you flip this around and feed it through the first slot. Okay, so it just comes through a little bit there. And then, and then you can pull that tight and that tight. And that's how it locks. So then when we pull it up against the edge, it's nice and strong. And then we flip this closed. And then the belt snaps in just like that. So you might have to adjust it a little bit. But now if you're a little mischievous raccoon at night trying to get in, like you really can't get in anywhere. It's pretty strong here, pretty strong here. And 
to open it up to put it in the trash with one hand. You got your trash and, and one hand and your other hand free. Just flip that open. Flip up the lid and put it in your trash. Close it. And snap it. And you're done. So that should uh, hopefully keep the raccoons out of your trash and you have better things to do than clean up a mess uh, on your driveway. So, thanks for watching.